Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Moroz and I'm going to be your tutor during this video tutorial. During this video tutorial, you will learn how to save any data or any document as PDF file. So basically, I will teach you how to save uh, anything uh, from your third uh, party software into the PDF. So if your third party software is capable of printing uh, documents or printing data like it can send to printer and print out uh, the data it means that you can save it as PDF file as well and it can be Microsoft Office Excel Word web pages reports images photos uh, even portion of the text of some of the third party software and the key of this uh, technique or idea it's absolutely free you don't need to pay nobody and um, as you know the company is charging for the PDF converters like 40 uh, 29 80 120 dollars and it just can uh, convert the some files into the PDF well during this video tutorial you will learn how to convert anything into PDF if the third party software that you're working uh, is capable of printing the documents or data you can save it as well instead of printing you can save it as PDF you will tell me how okay let me go ahead and teach you basically uh, you need to understand the idea uh, the technique uh, the method uh, uh, that is uh, behind the scene and before I'm going to show you the video how to do so I would like to explain to you the idea that is going to be behind the scene. So the idea is simple. Uh, to convert anything to PDF, you will need it to be printed as PDF, like I told you. So basically, any modern application have print features uh, in 2012 and uh, in 21 century. So basically, if you can edit the data, if you can um, read the data or save the data you will have also ability to print the data and uh, if you have ability to print the data means that you can save the PDF so keep keep this in mind if you have ability or feature to print you will be able to save it as PDF however uh, you will need application driver that is capable of printing as PDF as you know not all PD, uh, printers uh, available can print in PDF file actually 99% on the market right now of printers such as X HP, Canon, um, Xerox, Brothers uh, cannot, Microsoft etc. cannot uh, print as PDF 99% so basically you will need to have a virtual printer basically a software or a driver that will act as a printer and will be visible as a printer but it will be virtual printer so all what it will do it will take the data your printable data and convert it to the PDF uh, standards for the PDF format and for those who doesn't know what is PDF PDF is portable document format that uh, in that includes images text and etc and it's very neat to have it in 21 century because it's easy to share the PDF because the PDF uh, became a, a, a standard so uh, you need that virtual printer to be able to print as PDF and I found a very nice and freeware, completely free virtual printer. It's called Cute PDF Writer. It's a software and it's a freeware, excellent software for printing any data into PDF file. Works for 32 or 64 bit uh, Windows operating systems such as Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and I also tested on Windows 8 beta for developers. So it's, I'm assuming it will work as well for Windows 8. Here's the plan uh, what you need to do uh, to be able to use that technique or idea. Uh, first let's go ahead and Google search for Qt PDF Writer and download the software. 
Also, you instead of just googling uh, yamlot from the official uh, developer website, which is www.cutepdf.com, I put it for you in a yellow font. Go ahead and visit that, and it's official developer's website. You can download the Cute PDF Writer software, which is completely freeware and free of the adverse uh, viruses, trojans, etc. It's very neat and nice. Second, uh, download it, of course, and install it. Third step, uh, test it by printing any web page or Word document if you have Microsoft Office installed as Qt PDF Writer Printer. So basically, you need to go and click Print in your application and select your printer or your device as Qt PDF Writer Printer. It's probably going to be any other uh, default, such as Microsoft, Fax, or Microsoft Printer, or Canon Printer, or HP Printer, Xerox uh, Printer, Brothers Printer. You need to scroll it down and find the Qt PDF Writer Printer. Select it and make sure it's selected. If it's not visible and you install the Qt PDF Writer, go ahead and do the restart and try it again. When uh, after you're going to select the Qt PDF Writer, click the Print button, and after you will click that Print button, uh, the Save prompt will appear. After 25 to 30 seconds, it depends how fast is your computer and how much data you're trying to print as PDF. So it takes some time to analyze the data, and uh, you need to name the PDF file and click Save and select the folder the destination that you would like to save it to. Very simple and easy. After that you need to click save button and it will be saved. Let me go ahead and explain to you as again the idea. So here is your document. It can be office document, word document, web page or image, whatever you want it to be. You need to find the option print in that software that can uh, read the document. And uh, then click on that option print or printing and then it will give you ability of the printers you need to go ahead it's probably going to be your as again your default printer such as HP Canon Xerox browsers and ATC printer you want to scroll it down and instead of that you need to select cute PDF writer printer that's uh, the printer is our virtual printer that will convert to PDF instead of printing on a physical paper so it's not printing on a physical paper all what it will do it will convert the printable data into the PDF format you need to select it if you don't have it under your printers you need to go ahead and make sure you installed uh, the software completely and go ahead and restart your computer then you need to click print and after as again after 25 30 seconds the save uh, prompt window will appear and um, it will tell you please uh, write your file name and extension as PDF and select the destination and then you can click the save button after you're going to click the save button it will go ahead and save the document as the PDF and finally it will output the PDF file which is industry standard PDF file without any convert, uh, compressions so the quality of the PDF file will be pure quality very nice and clean PDF file sharp fonts beautiful images okay so as you can see it's pretty simple and uh, if you didn't understand uh, some of the parts of this video go ahead and uh, rewind it back and watch it again if not just go ahead and uh, try it again and again also any comments are welcome down below and I will try to answer to you by the way right now after you understand the idea let me go ahead and uh, go to the practice mode and I will show you how to do so in real life save a web page save the image from the web in PDF save, save the web page in PDF and then save the office document in PDF. Keep in mind you can use the same method, same idea to save anything into PDF in your third party software. Okay, it's not limited to those. If your third party software has the print 
ability keeps this in mind you can always save it as PDF that data using and print it maybe later on okay thank you so much and let's go ahead and get to the video and I will show you in real life practice how to do so all right folks and I just opened my uh, browser which is internet browser which is uh, the Google Home uh, it doesn't matter what kind of browser you have it uh, will work in your browser as well it just depends where it's going to be your print option so it's going to be a little bit in different locations somewhere but go ahead and find it what you can do you can click right click on it and it will give you some on white space somewhere some print abilities or just go to option find the options and see what you have under your options and I have the print over here click on print and um, when you're going to click on print it's going to, the option will show up and in some uh, internet browsers you will see the preview as well on some it's not necessary that you're going to see the preview and Google Home you can see the preview so it's neat you can see what you're printing how your PDF will look like by the way this image was taken by me so I'm out the elder and photographer it's uh, Colorado Denver in 2010 and uh, it's a it's a huge high quality image that was taken by me I'm the other the photographer for it and um, don't miss by the way my photography uh, tutorials so and this donation or on some browsers it's going to say the printer or in some softwares third party softwares is going to say the printer keep in mind that you're using the same technique to print the web pages documents from third party softwares etc right so it's probably it's going to say the printer not destination maybe destination you need to click change you're probably not going to have the cute PDF as default and it's probably going to say something like Microsoft XPS document writer or something like so what you need to do you need to show all and select the cute PDF writer okay click on it select this as a printer so now it's going to be selected then you will have to play with some options default options depends to your uh, printing um, features of your third party software uh, layout you can go landscape okay you can go black and white in color in this particular and 